Hi, this is Melissa Miller uh, with Miller's Rustic Sawmill, and I am on Essential Stencils. Uh, they're hosting a live tonight uh, directly from our shop, so I'm on their page, and I'm going to come on, and I'm going to paint a project. So I'm going to give it a, just a few minutes and see who hops on. If you're going to hop on, tell me where you're watching from. I haven't done a live for a while. And this is a very first for me on Essential Stencils page. So usually we do them on uh, Miller's Rustic Sawmill. So if you've seen me on there, um, definitely uh, say hi and let me know if you've seen me before, if you've watched my live videos before. Um, Essential Stencil, I have done several lives uh, from my shop here in King City um, using their stencils and they always share and they asked if I would come on their page and do a live video and I was so excited. So I said, of course I would, I would love to. Um, so this is a first for me. So if you're watching me for the first time, um, let me know where you're watching from. Say hi, my name's Melissa and um, we own a small um, family sawmill business here in King City, Missouri called Miller's Rustic Sawmill. And I know I'm probably gonna see some names on here um, that I, I have seen before on my lives, on my page. So um, just let me catch up with you because like I said, I haven't been on for a while, but um, I'm super excited to be on here tonight. Um, I love the essential stencils. It's one of the reasons that I've been able to have some painting parties and do some different things here in our shop. So um, I see Mimi, hi Mimi. Yes, thank you for sharing. If you'll share this, um, throw out some likes, some hearts. Um, if you've ever watched me before, um, I, I'm gonna try tonight to not say um all the time. I say that a lot, but uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna just apologize straight up ahead of time. I told, I just told my husband, I said, tonight I'm really gonna try not to say um a million times, but that probably won't happen. So anyway, uh, my husband's here in the shop with me. We uh, are a husband and wife team and we run, like I said, a small business here in King City, Missouri, where we do uh, lumber, we cut slabs and wood of all kinds. So I was trying to uh, find a way to use uh, some of the wood that we have in our in our business and be able to have uh, some, hi guys, hi Diane, uh, have some parties, painting parties and different ladies nights and things like that using our wood. So I kind of started looking for someone that had, uh, hi Randy, thanks for watching. Somebody that had a vertical stencil. I don't have a Cricut, I don't have a vinyl machine. I have some people around us that do. So sometimes for custom signs and things like that, I do use um, some of the people uh, in our local area. I have a lady who makes some amazing vinyl custom stencils for me every once in a while and I appreciate that so much. But I was really looking for uh, something that I could have in my shop that was reusable. So whenever I stumbled across essential stencils, uh, they've just, I've used them every since. They are affordable, their stencils are amazing. And um, I was able to create another income uh, using their stencils within our business. So um, being able to have a product that uh, I can have in our shop and I can reuse and reuse is just fantastic for me as a business owner. So, um, and a crafter. I'm not a professional anything. I'm not a professional painter, crafter, or anything. It's just uh, their stencils make it pretty easy. So tonight, I'm going to use uh, one of their stencils, maybe a couple of their stencils. I, my lives usually go for a very long time, so I'm going to do my best um, tonight to make sure that I keep it about an hour. Also, because we're gonna be giving away three, um, three people are gonna win some stencils tonight. So you're gonna to wanna to stay on, you're gonna to wanna to, um, hang out for a while because we're gonna randomly pick three winners at the end of the video. So um, my husband's gonna help me watch the time. And uh, first time viewer, thank you. And I actually saw somebody on here from Missouri. So um, the project tonight, 
I mix it up, you guys. I, hi, Missy. Um, I like to use their stencils and I've kind of, I had a really hard time um, taking and mixing one stencil, using another one, using another one. But then um, once I kind of started getting creative with them, um, if you've got a good stash of their stencils, there's a lot of different things um, that you can, you know, you can do and you can pull off. So I was pulling out some stencils yesterday and the day before. Hi, you guys. Thanks for watching. I see you guys from all over. Thank you for watching. My name's Melissa. If it's your first time watching me, welcome. Um, it's nice to meet you. Good to see you. Um, it's good to be here on the Essential Stencil page. I am super excited uh, that they asked me to come on their page. Hi, Suzanne. I have missed you too. We've I haven't been live for a while, so uh, thank you guys for watching for sure. I, I, I appreciate all the likes and hearts, that's awesome. Um, most of you, I'm guessing, are uh, first time with me. I'm reading some of the comments. I, I tend to ramble and not read a lot of the comments. I'm trying, I'm trying. My husband's just laughing. So um, nice to meet you, Deborah. Thank you guys for watching. I see I've got quite a few people on here. And you guys, some of you have already pre-ordered some of the fall stencils. Well, tonight, um, hi, Trisha, good to see you. Um, I, uh, I get to give away three stencils to three winners. So that's a first for me too. So I'm super excited about that. And they can be the pre-order fall stencils. So uh, that's exciting. Um, I, there's essential stencils not gonna choose what, what one the winner gets, you get to pick. So, um, hi Mimi, thank you for watching. Yeah, they're, the people at Essential Stencil, uh, they're husband and wife team too, so they're a family owned business and they are here in um, Arizona. Well, they're in Arizona, I'm in Missouri, but they're here in the United States and I think that it's awesome um, to support the businesses here. Um, Somebody said that their daughter's name is Melissa Miller. That's cool. Their daughter-in-law's name is Melissa Miller. Hi, Vicki. I noticed, I recognize your name, you guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Hopefully you're gonna, maybe you'll learn something new, something different. I know several of the girls on here that do videos do different things, different styles. Um, so uh, thank you guys for tuning in to watch me. I. Uh, I'm just a DIYer and I don't always um, do things the right way. I mess things up, but it's just paint. So I kind of have the attitude that, you know, if I mess it up, I can fix it one way or another, or it's gonna be just fine. So um, I, I was getting ready to tell you what, um, they asked me what, I was trying to come up with the projects and I have, honest to God, like two or three, probably one, two, three, four of them laid out. And today I completely went a different direction. So I had told Essential Stencil, the people, Ramon and um, them, that I thought that, uh, what I thought I might be doing. And I completely switched gears. So what I'm doing tonight, I don't know if any of you have the Home Sweet Home uh, stencil, but I am using the Home Sweet Home stencil. And um, I'm gonna use it on one of our boards that we have from our mill. And it's just what I would call a porch board. It's the one I'm using tonight is over five foot. Typically I use five foot boards that are about 10 and a half to 11 inches wide for my porch board signs or the vertical signs. Um, and tonight uh, I was going through them and the last two days I've been wearing uh, my Kansas City Chiefs shirts. So we are Chiefs fans in our family. My Husband is the Chiefs fan. My son is the Chiefs fan, to be honest, but we are Chiefs fans. And the Chiefs training camp is happening maybe 30 minutes away from our hometown, which um, it's the Chiefs train. They do their training camp in St. Joseph, Missouri. So um, we have some super uh, fans of Patrick Mahomes, who is the quarterback for our Kansas City Chiefs. And uh, he was the league MVP. My husband was giving me all of these stats about him today. And I said, I'll just let you come on maybe. Um, and you can tell them about Patrick Mahomes. 
But um, I don't know if any of you guys are football fans. If you're football fans for your home state, your home teams, or whoever um, your home, your your football team is, you know, football's getting ready to start. And um, I hope if you if you guys are football fans, give me some thumbs up because um, tonight I'm I'm using my home sweet home stencil to do a home sweet Mahomes. So we're doing a shout out to Patrick Mahomes, the quarterback of the Kansas City Chiefs on this board. So um, I was thinking about it. I see some Giants fans. Do I have any Kansas City Chiefs fans out there? Even if you're not from Missouri, you can be a Chiefs fan. Um, if you are a Chiefs fan, give me some hearts. They're red like the Chiefs. So um, we're waiting to see. And Raider <laughs> fans can't get a stencil. <laughs> And my husband said, if you're a Raider fan, you, you won't be winning a stencil tonight. <laughs> Which is totally not true. <laughs> but he's, yeah, he's, he's not a Raiders fan. But um, that's okay. Patrick is from a town 20 miles from me. Rhonda, oh. that's cool. My, our son shares, um, shares the same birthday with Patrick Mahomes. And he wants to meet him so bad and he's like we have to go to texas we've got to go to his hometown i'm seeing people from alabama i'm seeing lots of red hearts so that's awesome i have two sisters that live in kansas city and they love the chiefs yeah if if you're from anywhere around here um you know in missouri hopefully you love the chiefs for sure but um i, I you know patrick mahomes he's kind of he's hard not to love he's he's pretty darn uh, just naturally athletic, so he's he's very humble about everything that he does as well. So, um, oh, Jan's daughter is a Raider, Raider trader. Mm. <laughs> Jan, Jan, Jan. Now yeah, there's someone else I think that said that I won't say we are Raiders fans, but we do live in Southern California. <laughs> yeah. So what do you think? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I have to tell you, Faithful 49ers, there you go. That's, that's, not, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Now we're talking football. I'm sorry, Essential Stencil. <laughs> well, I know that with the vertical signs, there are so many possibilities. If you've got the letter stencils, you guys, you can do your, your favorite team um, with their stencils. If you've got their... Um, hi, Donna. Your husband said it best. Patrick is very humble. Yes, he is. Um, you guys, if you've got these, and I know my letters and everything is kind of backwards, um, but if you've got these, you can totally do your football uh, team on a, on a sign. So abs absolutely, um, if you don't have these letter stencils, you're going to want them. There's so many different things you can do with them. So um, tonight I'm using the, the home sweet home and I added an M and an A and an S so that it's going to spell out home sweet my homes. And we're going to do it in red and yellow. Um, how tall are these letters? These are the five inch letters, Cheryl. Um, the stencil that I actually have is the vertical sign um, stencil on the uh, essential stencil page. And it is... Um, it is the home sweet home vertical stencil that's on their site. And then I am mixing in the M and the A and the S. So um, the board that I have is, um, is uh, over five foot. My, this one's a little bit taller. Um, and someone said you didn't think of doing your football teams with the letters. Yeah, I know. And um, I, I'm always trying to think of other ways to use all of these stencils because you can, you can just get creative with them. So um, tonight, that's what we came up with. I, I came home today and I was like, you know, I think with Chiefs camp going on, Chiefs training camp is in the area. Um, St. Joe was flooded with Chiefs stuff today. And I thought, here we go. We're, we can do that. So um, I'm glad you're doing this. I have the five inch letters and that sounds like a perfect present for my dad. Yeah, you guys and, and 49ers, if you've got the number stencils, um, you can use, um, 
you can use those number that number pack can you hand me that number pack if you've got the number pack you can pull the numbers off of there and you could do the 49 and you could hand letter or you could pull the e and the r off of some of these letters so if you've got this letter pack um like this or i mean i'm sorry this number pack i keep saying letter pack this uh you can use these numbers for your teams too you could do your favorite team players number um it's kind of endless so um, Mahomes is sponsored by McGovic Nissan here in Lubbock, Texas. Had to make a sign for him with Chiefs and Mahomes on it. How awesome. That's cool. Yeah, I told my son, I said, I texted him and told him what I was doing. And he just said, oh my gosh. I said, you're going to have to send it to Patrick Mahomes or you're going to have to tag him. And maybe he'll come sign it for us. How cool would that be? I wish. I wish. But anyway... Um, I'll get started. Um, yes, I have my Chiefs football shirt on underneath here. So, um, new here, how do you order? Marcella, um, I will tell you that I have a link in this video up at the top and you can click on that link. Um, after we get done here, you can go back and you can click on the link, um, in the video and I'll post it again on here, um, at some point. But, um, you can click that link and it'll save you 10%. So it'll take you to the Essential Stencils website and you can go through and pick. But if you're just hopping on, I do want you guys to know, if you stick it out with me, um, I am going to um, give away three. Uh, three lucky people are gonna be winners of some stencils. So you're gonna get to pick your choice and uh, you'll get to um, pick which, which stencil you want. So I'm giving away three stencils to three different people um, this evening at the end of the video. So um, hang tight with me. And if you're gonna order or you wanna place an order, definitely um, you'll wanna use my link so that you can save some money on them because they're a good price anyway. Um, and goodness, you know, I don't, know exactly how much the ones I'm using tonight are. I should. Maybe Essential Stencil, can you post that for me um, if you're watching the Home Sweet Home uh, that I'm using and the letter stencils possibly. So now you're saying I can't wait to make a Packer sign. Yeah, Jesse, stick it out. Um, I am excited to give some away tonight, so I've not ever gotten to do that before. Um, if you're new here, I'm going to tell you what I'm using tonight. So Essential Stencil makes... They also have these amazing brushes um, on their site, and I have used many different brushes. Uh, I got some of these off of their site, and they are worth every penny. So um, they are awesome. If you like using the brushes, you're going to want to try out their brushes as well. They, they rock. They are really nice and um, would love to win some stencils. I know, you guys. Um, I... Like I said, I have I'm I'm a thrifty shopper. I like cheap. I like dollar store. I like Dollar Tree. I like anything that's a dollar. So uh, I definitely used the range of brushes from cheap, cheap, cheap to um, expensive even from Hobby Lobby. So uh, I got these brushes and I can't say enough good things about them. They are very nice. They're very comfortable to use and they wash great. I love them. That being said. I'm not using them tonight. <laughs> um, I know several of you have probably seen people use the makeup wedges and different things. Um, how do we enter to win the stencils? Deborah, just hang tight, watch my video, and we are going to randomly pick um, at the end of this video um, some people who are engaging, commenting, and things like that will probably recognize names maybe. My husband's going to help me pick. I'm going to make him be the the bad guy, so he's gonna get to pick the winners, <laughs> or the good guy, it depending on. It could be a Raider fan. Too. And he said it could be a Raider fan. I'd like to see him win something. So, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that. He said it could be a Raider fan. He'd like to see them win something. So, anyway, <laughs> he's on right like that. Um, yes, Pat. The brushes, um, they are they are nice. So if you've not stenciled before and you're new, um, I'm going to be using, I'm gonna show you tonight, I've got this, um, I'm frozen, am I still frozen? My video mm. stopped. Yep. I don't know. Hopefully, can you guys see me now? Are you, are you good? I'm freezing, freezing up. up. Hmm. 
<laughs> Keep commenting. Well, maybe you guys are just commenting too much and it just <laughs> it just shut us down. Maybe there were too many likes and everything. I don't know, but uh, thank you so much. Um, if you're going to order anything, you guys, make sure you use my link because it'll save you 10%. So thank you for watching. Um, if you've never stenciled, uh, let me know. Uh, comment if you've not ever stenciled before. I'm going to be using this sponge roller. Well, it's like a foam roller more. So I got it from Hobby Lobby. So I am going to, uh, you guys, I don't know why I froze unless it would, had a lot to do with the, the likes and stuff. Uh, I, I don't know. Facebook is weird. But um, I'm just using craft paint. So I'm going mm -hmm. to use this red. And you can see I got this from um, Hobby Lobby. It was $4.99. I probably used my 50% off coupon. So um, if something's not on sale at Hobby Lobby, definitely go online, HobbyLobby.com, and you can get a 40% off coupon for things that aren't on sale. So I'm going to start with this. And um, the trick to stenciling, uh, just so you've never stenciled, I am just using paper plate. I know some people use wax paper, some people use paper, um, some people use tin foil to dump their stuff out on. Whatever you want to use is absolutely fine. Um, you've never seen anyone use the foam roller. Uh, this is something that I really like using on the bigger vertical uh, stencils. So. Um, hold on one second, you guys. I just placed an order last night and got those brushes. I get confused with who I'm ordering from. I wasn't offered 10% off. Well, shoot, surely. Um, if you want to order stencils, um, definitely maybe look for my video here on the Essential Stencil page and you can find that link there. So that link, um, is um or you can use my discount code if there's a spot for you to off to put in a code you can put in mrs2019 so that stands for our business um mrs 2001 2019 so um, miller's rustic sawmill 2019 so there you go um and yes thank you essential stencil they just put it in there so there is the code you guys or the link if you want to order. So um, hang tight with us. I'm I'm just I'm caught up in all of your comments. I'm never gonna get anything stenciled. I could just sit here and talk. Uh, <laughs> um, anyway, how well does the paint that you have work? So that's a good question. This is acrylic, and I'm gonna tell you something that I did learn um, recently. I had a gloss. And the gloss took many more coats. I didn't realize I was using a gloss acrylic paint. And I kept wondering, what is wrong with that? What is wrong with that? But um, I realized that it was a gloss. So um, I tried to steer clear of the glosses because they seem to take more uh, coats of paint. So the foam roller, you guys, um, is something that I really like to use on the vertical stencils. It doesn't take near as much time as the brushes and I tend to find that um, I get just sometimes a better result with the roller. So I'm going to show you tonight. Um, the trick is the same. So if you have stenciled with brushes before or even um, your makeup sponges, the trick is always not to have a ton of paint on whatever it is you're using. Same with the roller. So um, something that um, I can tell you is that sometimes thicker paints do tend to work a little bit better as far in my as my experience So sometimes you can get a, like I have some um, Textured paints that work really really well. So please show us the project I'm to see here Okay, I am gonna get started because I if I don't I'm never gonna get it done And I totally thought maybe I could do two or three projects tonight. That's probably not gonna happen so, um, okay, so can you guys see this all okay? I have my red paint here, and I am going to, I'm gonna tip this down just a little. Maybe you can see a little bit better. So, um, you can see I'm rolling this out here, and I'm just, just like you would for a wool. You don't wanna have this dripping with paint, and um, I've just got it covered and kind of coated on here so that there's not a ton of paint. So, I'm going to do my home, 
and Mahomes all in red. So I am going to just start rolling here and I want to show you something. This is something that I think is important. Whenever you're using a roller, you want to make sure that you have taped down any places because I also find sometimes that with the roller, you kind of tend to be a little less careful. So um, you kind of get to rolling and you're like, I'm taping between my stencils and I've taped on these little edges out here to the sides of my letters because I don't want to roll it out onto my board. So I am just making sure that I've got tape covering um, anywhere that's close to the edges of my stencils. So you want to make sure, if, especially if you're using a roller, that you do that. So you just take your roller and you don't have to apply a lot of pressure. You just roll it like you would. And you can see right up here, I'm kind of close to the edge. So I could have put a piece of tape there, but I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go across my stencil. Um, it, I have not found any rhyme or reason to going up and down or across, as long as you get it filled in um, and you get your little, you can kind of see as you do it, just like your brushes, um, it just doesn't take much time to cover it. So that is one of the things that I still take my time. I don't just go crazy doing it. Um, I, I'm trying to just kind of, with anything, especially with the brushes um, and the, the sponges, even the makeup sponges, you guys, the trick is just a little bit of patience. So um, it's supposed to be, and there you can see the I did. I did get a little bit close to the edge there, so I'm just gonna wipe it off. And it's okay, does it bubble? Um, I don't have enough paint on there for mine to bubble. Um, so I don't see any bubbling. Red is kind of a harder color to work with. And um, something that you do wanna make sure of is that you um, maybe make sure it's uh, not a glossy paint. So I have found that the glossy paints are kind of harder to work with as well. So, um, hi Deb, thanks for watching. Um, I don't have any bubbling with this. Uh, I'll, I'll do this down here and then we'll take this off and I'll go ahead and show you how this is turning out. So um, the roller looks like I need to head back to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> um, the only time that you really have to worry about bleeding with your brushes um, or I think with anything that you're using you guys is if you're using too much paint or if you're going super super crazy fast. Um, the first few times I stenciled um, I kind of did that and so you're gonna have some bleeding. I also would tell you that the thicker I think your paint is um, the less bleeding I think you're also going to have. So I'm not pushing hard on this, I'm not putting um, a lot of pressure on here uh, at all. I'm just kind of rolling it lightly and um, going over it. And if I have to do a couple coats, I, that's, that's okay with me too. So I am using this on a, um, our lumber is the wood, the board I'm using is from our sawmill business and it's a spalted um, sycamore board and it doesn't have any stain or finish on it. I'm using regular acrylic paint. Yes, I am. And so um, this is what I'm using right here, you guys. I have never used the Sherwin-Williams paint. Um, I am a paint uh, clearance shopper. Um, so I am usually in the Hobby Lobby section and the acrylic paint. Um, and I kind of pick up kind of whatever, whatever I can. So if it's clearance, uh, I'm all about it. So sometimes I'm looking for specific colors. I do also really like uh, the Waverly paint. That's at Walmart and you can find it in some smaller bottles. And um, it's, a, it's a good paint to use. Um, there's also, I've used some textured paints, which I can tell you, I really didn't know what to expect. So I'll have to do a live sometime where I have a textured paint. And um, I'll show you, because the textured paint is a little bit thicker 
paint and it the thicker paint seemed to work really well with the vertical stencils. I haven't dipped this back in yet. So um, you can see that I'm still, I still got quite a bit of paint on this roller, even though there's not very much on it. So my board will stay natural. I'm not gonna stain it, but I'll probably seal it. Um, I, as I'm running out of paint on this, I'm putting a little bit more pressure on it. So um, I try not to really worry about the bleeding too much. The, the bleeding I find um, with the stencils sometimes happens if, if I'm just going in a hurry or if I'm um, trying to rush the project and um, not take my time or uh, like I said, I get too much paint, which you know, you guys, it's paint. And I always say, you know, you can always take a little brush if, if it really bothers you. And you can go around the edge and you can clean it up too. So um, how I try to keep it from bleeding under the stencil, and I think you guys might find that this roller technique, it's just, um, it just takes practice, just like the brushes, but it's, uh, it covers very little um, a very, it covers very clean. So uh, it's it's just um, it's just a different technique. It's a different way of putting it on. And someone's asking me what textured paint I have. Um, will you go in the closet? There's some round jars that kind of look like this that say I think some of them are textured, and I'll show you which ones I have. So um, I'm gonna turn this just a little bit. Yes, you can use about any clear sealer. I've I've used Mod Podge sealer and I've used um, Thompson's acrylic. So I'm getting a little bit more paint on my roller. And um, yeah, this is one of them. So this I got in several colors at Hobby Lobby one time. And it was um, clear and stout for $2.50. And so it says um, it's a texture paint and it's called Coastal. Uh, I don't quite even see the brand, but this was this is one of them that worked really, really well. It was very thick. So um, yeah, I clean the roller. It washes out. I can just, I usually take it and I soak it and um, I wash it out really, really good and let it dry. You put a little bit of Dawn dish soap on it and I just squeeze the paint out of it and, um, and it washes just fine. So, there's that. You guys, what am I making? Somebody folk asked. Folk art. Folk okay. art. Okay, my husband says this is, oh, the brand is folk art. So, thank you, hun. Keep stopping and starting. I did get the roller from Hobby Lobby, and um, somebody asked me what I'm making. What I'm making tonight, I am using the um, Home Sweet Home uh, stencil from Essential Stencil. We, I am in Missouri, so if it's your first time watching, I live in um, a small town by uh, St. Joseph, Missouri, called King City. We live in King City, and um, the Chiefs training camp happens in St. Joseph, Missouri. We are Chiefs fans, so I took my home sweet home sign stencil from Essential Stencil, and I added an M and an A and an S to it, so we're doing home sweet Mahomes. Um, that's our sign tonight. So I got a little creative with my letter stencils and um, that's what I was kind of telling everybody whenever I first came on. Um, I had several other projects laid out, but I decided to do this one today. After being in St. Joe for a while and seeing all this chief stuff running around, the board um, that I'm working on tonight is from our sawmill. And um, we run a sawmill business, so we cut these boards ourselves. We also dry them in a kiln. And Randy, my husband is here. You're not the only guy. <laughs> but I'm glad you're watching. Um, Bucky's glad you're watching. Um, so these boards are um, available to us in from our sawmill business. And that's uh, that was where I started looking for some someone that had the vertical stencils that I could use on our boards. So, com so the, is the home sweet home combined with the letter stencils? Yes, Roxanne, I added an M and an A and an S to mine. So, um, 
And yes, my husband is in the background. You guys want my husband to say hi? Hi. No, you can come over here and say <laughs> hi. Don't I'm be... okay. No, don't be rude. <laughs> I'm all filthy and nasty. <laughs> hi. This is my husband. So we are a husband and wife team and we have um, the sawmill here in King City. So that's, um, that's where I get my boards and that's how I found Essential Stencil because I was trying to find a way that I could maybe hold some classes here in our shop in our small town. So um, the single letters the same size as the vertical letters. Um, I have a so my S I think is just a little bit smaller so if you have the home sweet home sign um, I actually have and I meant to find out, but I have this smaller pack. It's a smaller alphabet letter stencil pack that I have. And that's what I have used for the M and the A. And um, I have used, I, I have used the letter pack, the, this big letter pack though, um, also. And um, that's what I was also saying, but I think these are just a little bit bigger. So these are the normal, like welcome, uh, welcome size letters. So how long is the ten percent? Deb, you can use my link anytime to order. That ten percent will be good anytime you want to order through um, using my link. So you can use that anytime that you want to order, not just tonight. Um, I will be giving away some stencils tonight to three lucky winners. So yes, Glenda, the stencils are washable. And hi from Iowa, hi Donna, you're close. And um, you guys, I, I have just put one coat on here and I don't have a lot of paint left on my plate. But you can see that this is pretty, it's kind of a pretty stress-free way. So um, is that the five inch letters? Yes. So I've got a smaller pack of letters and then I've got what is this bigger pack of letters. So I think they've got two different sizes. So I think they say five inch, but I think, I'm not quite sure why, I'm a little bit confused now. But I've, I've got these smaller, um, the smaller ones on here tonight. But I also use um, the big ones as well to spell out different things like farmhouse and things like that. So uh, if you're wanting to spell out your team names in letters, look at their letter packs on their site because you can spell out anything. You can do your last name. You can, you can do all kinds of things. So um, I'm so glad somebody just said, I've inspi I inspired them to start stenciling. That's fantastic. Um, that makes me feel good. Uh, it's not hard and I try to not have people get stressed about it. I thank you, Essential Stencil. There are the sizes right there, three and a half. I think mine's my packaging said five, but it's three and a half. So I have the three and a half inch letters on here tonight with the Home Sweet Home Stencil. And I am making Home Sweet Mahomes in honor of the Chiefs quarterback, Patrick Mahomes. So I have already gotten that word done. So I've got what? 20 I've got 20 minutes, great. Oh my goodness. She loves to talk. I do. They they told me an hour. I, I was like, how long tonight? Maybe an hour. You guys, if you've watched me on our Facebook page on Miller's Rustic Sawmill, you know sometimes I'm like on there for two hours or longer. So um, you're going to need more wood. Am I the only Canadian? Glenda, I really don't know. No, um, there was another one. Someone, my husband said that there was another Canadian on tear. So, um... I do, we do sand the boards. We have a planer. So we have a planer machine that um, the boards go through after they get cut. And um, sometimes it's just kind of whatever we have that I can I can steal from the mill or have the guys cut for me, depending on where we're at in orders. And then but stay um, in the back of them. yeah, my husband's gonna show you. Um, so that's one of our boards stained. I, I've done several um, welcome boards and porch boards um, here. so. When you do the classes, how many sets of stencils? Um, I, it just depends. I don't have a lot of room in our shop for a lot of people. So usually um, we're doing two-sided. So sometimes um, 
I've gotten a good supply so that I can have several welcome stencils and then I've got a good mixture of several of the other vertical stencils. So um, we, uh, you know, I'd say six to eight, depending on how many people you can hold or how many you're going to have in your space, you can even start out by sharing. So, you know, I, that's kind of what I did at first. Um, I don't always stain our boards. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Um, a lot of times the prep, um, I let the people do whenever they come. So um, it just depends on how long you want to set up your classes. So if you would like um, you can go to your local big box stores. You might search around you to see if there are any um, sawmills around you that might be able to cut you some boards. Sometimes sawmills. Make sure they're dry. Yeah, the, the trick is you want to make sure that they have, um, that they're dried. It's dried lumber. So our, our boards have all been through the kiln process. They're all dried, which means they're not going to crack, crack or warp or twist. The moisture's all out of them. So, um, yeah, I, I've done the double-sided porch boards where, um, you know, we've shared stencils. So if someone's stenciling welcome on one side, they could be stenciling their fall side, you know, somebody else, and then they can trade stencils. So um, <laughs> you're anxious to see the finished project. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stencil my other home word because I'm not going to get this done because I, I want to answer your questions, you guys, and um, I want to try to see the comments, but it's kind of hard to do that and, and read them at the same time. But I will tell you that um, if you get the letters from Essential Stencil, and they are fantastic for about anything that you want to um, spell out. So I have gotten creative with my letter pack. Uh, they're very versatile and um, just like tonight, you know, I added the M and the A and the S so we can spell out my homes. So um, boards, you can actually, if you go to your big box stores around you, you can have them cut um, different things uh, for you if you need to the size before you leave if you don't have the equipment at home. Um, I'm using a, just a cheap craft roller from uh, Hobby Lobby. Yes, thank you. That's what I was trying to think of. Um, <laughs> I need I need an assistant to read. Well, you know, I try to read them all. I've watched some videos and I I don't know. You know, I'll try to go back after this video and I'll try to answer some questions in the comments that I can answer too because um, a lot of people, if you want to learn more about our business uh, as well, definitely go to our Miller's Rustic Sawmill page. Um, that's our page on Facebook and you can like our page. I do live videos on our page as well. Uh, tonight I'm just on uh, Essential Stencil going live for the first time ever and I was super excited. So um, you are allowed to go over an hour. You know, I probably am gonna go over an hour to be honest. <laughs> and it, it'll just have to do because I am gonna give away some stencils and um, I do like to talk, so I just can't help it. I get excited about people. Um, I figured it would cause, oh, you thought the roller um, would cause it to bleed. Uh, you know, I have had very little bleeding with the roller other than on some barn board that we used, which it's textured. But um, also, like I said, I think um, the, the glossy paint, if you buy the glossy paint, I think that there's a little bit more um, bleeding with the glossy paint. It seems to be pretty thin and you'd have to do quite a few coats. So I am, um, yes, you can get your wood from any of the big box stores, you guys. Um, this board that I'm using tonight, my typical porch boards are usually five foot, which essential stencils, vertical stencils are made for the five foot porch boards. And um, they are, the ones that we're, we use and that we cut here at our mill are about 10 and a half to 11 inches wide. It just kind of depends on what we have in our supply at the time. And um, I actually, I got this roller. This is more of a foam sponge roller. So I've seen other little rollers 
that, um, you know, like you can get at Lowe's. And I will tell you that I got this one at Lowe's. And it's, it's also more of a sponge roller. So I think that as long as it's more like a foam or a sponge type roller, that's what you're going to want to use. Not more like a, a wall paint roller. So, um, and some of you are just saying it's your first time joining. Thank you so much. That is awesome. I'm Melissa Miller. And um, we have a Miller Trustic Sawmill in King City, Missouri. So um, thank you for joining. I, this is my first time on Essential Stencils page. So um, I am excited to be here. And I, I have my home and my Mahomes done. Um, I am going to do my sweet in yellow. And I'm going to actually try out this cool little roller I got from... Um, Lowe's. So I'm going to check it out and see how it works so we know. Um, because I just, I found it today and I thought, well, we'll try it. So um, how can you win? We are randomly picking um, three winners at the end of this video. And those three winners, um, I will say your name and I'm going to need some information from you. So stick around. And um, I see someone just commented that something about a sawmill. My husband's hobby is a portable T90 wood miser. Oh, wow. You're in Mississippi. We're in Missouri. Um, I'm in our shop. This used to be an old church um, in our little town of King City. And we redid it with all of the wood from our sawmill. So, um, Jamie, the other roller I got was from um, Hobby Lobby. This one I got is from Lowe's. I picked this up at Lowe's today. It was actually... Um, I think cheaper than the ones at Hobby Lobby, to be honest. So unless you're using a 40% coupon. So um, keep that in mind. If you're ever at Hobby Lobby, you can um, download a, uh, or you can go on to HobbyLobby.com and you can get a 40% um, coupon for anything that's not on sale. But this roller is from Lowe's. So I'm going to do my sweet. And yes, yellow is kind of a hard color to use. What I'm using tonight, it's a patio paint. It's an outdoor paint, and it was in the aisle at Hobby Lobby in their wall of acrylic paint. So um, I don't ever specifically use a certain one. I just kind of pick the colors I like. And this color is called Marigold. So anyway, I'm not using um, very much paint. I'm just kind of rolling this out so that I've got um, my roller kind of saturated. There's nothing dripping off of here. Nothing's going to go running. No bubbles or anything like that. So um, I'm going to just do the word sweet. And we're going to see how it turns out. And I'm going to put a little bit of pressure on this. Because this is actually, you know, the yellow is going to be really hard to see on here because our board is unfinished. I didn't even think about that. You don't know until you try, huh? So I may have to do a couple coats on here. Um, Tell them which roller you like better. Which roller do I like better? I don't know yet. Um, this one's working just fine. I, I didn't know if there would be a difference. I just know that that yellow you're right, somebody said, and I really thought this marigold would show up good, but I don't know that it's going to. We're gonna find out when I take it off because my board being this natural color, I don't know. I may have to end up going over it with something else, but um, sometimes if you have a problem with a color showing up, um, a good thing to do is put white under it first to do it in white and then um, that'll give you a good base and then you can go over it. So, oh yeah, I could trim the yellow and black. Yeah, I thought I might dress it up later um, at some point with a little bit of white and black for the Chiefs. So, um, since we're making... Mine says it keeps stopping. Okay, hopefully you guys can see me. Yeah. Okay, my Facebook said it was stopping, so hopefully I'm not freezing up. But... I am going to, while this is drying a little bit, my yellow, I may have to go over it a few times. We're going to, I'm going to show you um, how this comes off. So you can see um, there's 
Oh, you guys, there's not hardly any bleeding on these letters at all. I'm gonna show you. So I just took off my Mahomes and um, it looks great. So I'm gonna throw those off. I just used painter's tape um, to hold my stencils down, but I'm gonna show you how clean that stencil. Can you guys see that? So my board is really tall, but I've got my homes and it's probably backwards, but it did, the roller does a really, really good job. So I don't have hardly any bleeding around this at all. It looks nice and it was super easy. So, um, where can I see more of your videos? Um, if you follow our page on Facebook, we are Miller's Rustic Sawmill, and um, you can see more videos there for sure. Um, I'll do some more lives on our, on our page, and I already have some on there, so if you wanna go on our page, you can definitely go like our page, and you can see us there. But I'm gonna show you up close, look. So many times um, we worry about uh, we get stressed out whenever we go to sit down and paint. And I know that in holding some of my classes, um, I have people that worry about that a lot. That they they don't wanna mess it up. I mean, if you're going to a class and you're paying for something, um, you want it to look the way that you see everyone else you know, around you look or you, the things you see in stores. And um, that sometimes is, is, sometimes is kind of stressful. So um, the rollers, I have found make it much less stressful, I think, for some people whenever they're painting, especially if they're stenciling and um, they've never stenciled before. But I would also advise you that, you know, or just recommend that if you are going to be stenciling something, um, you know, get a test piece of, of your wood or, um, you know, do it on the back. Just like this right here. If I had messed all of this up for some reason, I could paint it red and I could paint my whole board red and I could go back over it with white. So just remember, um, remember that if it's just paint and you can sometimes get creative with um, the way that you wanna fix it if you, if you do mess something up. I make it look easy. Um, the roller is pretty easy, you guys. Get the roller, uh, pick up a roller. I also think that Essential Stencil might be working on a roller product at some point too. So I'm anxious to see that in the future, hopefully. But um, yeah, the, the no bleeding, it's, uh, it doesn't take nearly as much time. So um, yeah, someone asked if you could purchase wood from us. If you're close to us, absolutely. Um, like our page, uh, Miller's Rustic Sawmill. Uh, we don't ship anything out yet. Um, but if you're around the Kansas City area, we're not super far from Kansas City. Um, I, I try to turn mess ups into happy accidents. That is perfect. Um, Stephanie, the board that I'm working on tonight is just, it's maybe five and a half, six foot. It's a little taller than my normal ones. So um, my, our normal porch signs are five foot and I, we specifically cut those to fit the uh, vertical stencils from Essential Stencil. So um, I, what type of roller? Um, someone said I've been frozen. Robbie, I'm sorry. Um, I use two different rollers so far. I have had no, uh, no, not one that I like better than the other. This one's from Hobby Lobby. This is what I did the red with. You just wanna make sure that you're not using a ton of paint. Like any other stencil technique that you're using, you don't want to have a lot of paint on here and start out with some light pressure. So um, my letters aren't backwards. Um, I know that they look like it on your end. I've got an older phone and I don't know how to flip, to flip it so it's not reversed. So it's reversed for you guys. Um, yeah, the yellow, I'm gonna do one more coat and then we're gonna take it off. Um, the letters, I line them up by the edges. I line them, I, you can see here um, tonight, this is how I lined mine up. I just butted them up next to each other. So um, they just went, uh, you know, here's the line here, 
um, well, those are, that's my home sweet home. But yes, I, I always line mine up that way. Um, and I think that they turn out just fine. That's exactly how I did this as well. I stuck the S on here at the bottom and I just kind of eyeballed it. Um, I will put a sealer on it uh, to go outside if it's gonna go outside. I don't know what's gonna happen with this one. Uh, we want Patrick Mahomes to come sign it for us, but <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna happen either. We might have to take it to Chiefs camp and see if he'll sign it there. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to go over my word sweet again because I'm just trying to get it a little bit darker on this natural board uh, because it's not showing up like I thought that it would. So I'm putting a little bit more pressure on, on this and trying to get a little bit more paint off of my roller in here and um, we'll pull it up and see what happens. If I don't like it, I'll probably end up going over it. Um, with something else so it's it's light it's not bad I think it could be darker so I may end up letting it dry and going over it maybe with a um, a darker yellow or something a little bit more um, more bold but it's not bad it might be hard for you guys to see but so it says um, yeah I think well it's an outdoor paint I just I don't know I think I think it's really hard to see on here. My M looks different than my other M. My M is different, you guys. I could have used um, my M from here. So the Mahomes that I spelled out, I used the three and a half inch letters for the M and the A and the S on the end. So I added to my home sweet homes, um, we, added, we added so that it would say home sweet Mahomes. And um, it is, my yellow is really hard to see. So I think I'm gonna let it dry and I'll probably go over it with a different yellow maybe that I In have. In person it isn't. Yeah, it looks a little bit harder to see on, on here, but um, yeah, everyone's saying maybe outline it in black. I could do that. I could take a Sharpie probably to it. That would be good. But um, anyway. Yeah, you guys, I added, that's it. For those of you that are wanting to know what I use, I use the home. You can't see my H up there, but it does say home. Home sweet home sticker. And I added, um, I just added the M and the A and the S so that it says my homes. And um, yes, I will seal it with like, you can use um, Thompson's water sealer spray acrylic. You can use, um, Oh, my, you can use the Mod Podge acrylic and um, yes, you're right. I think my M is backwards. <laughs> I see that now. Well, it'll just stand out from a home. That's what I'm going to go with because uh, yeah, you're right. It is backwards. And I will tell you a trick that I do, I do know, um, you guys, is that, um, my M is, is totally backwards. I just, I just now saw that too. I usually check that too. I'm usually so picky about that. But I sometimes, whenever I'm stenciling, I save this packaging. Thank you. Uh, because I reference this sometimes because I'm laying out my stencils and I'm like, uh, oh yeah, I've got to flip it. So um, you're right. My M, did you see? Yeah, I see that. It is backwards. So yeah, it is. You're right. The one is backwards. Dang it. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> ah, that is that is why you know um, I do I I like especially. Oh yeah, the shadow effect. I've done that before. Um, that would be good. That's a good idea. Um, I save these and the packaging. I put mine um, back in here and. Um, I, I do reference them whenever I'm laying them out because sometimes I'm like, uh, which way does that M go? Which way does the, you know, the A is sometimes tricky for me and um, which side is supposed to be what? So uh, the packaging that they have is definitely helpful to keep them in. And I know it does, it does stand out. Um, are the rollers in the paint section at Lowe's? 
Uh, this little white roller I did find um, in by the other rollers, the wall rollers and everything like that. Um, so I kind of had to look for them and they had the longer ones as well. So um, yeah, I will have to work on it. Um, this is the one I got at Hobby Lobby. So uh, I really don't have a preference. Um, I've used the one from Hobby Lobby several times and I did pick up, um, you can keep this little thing and you can get a pack of these rollers for $3.99. So if you've got a 40% off coupon, you can, um, you can also just, uh, you know, use your coupon for them if they're not on sale already. So, um. Oh, I saw someone just flip the M and then color the other side. Yeah, that's good. Home sweet Mahomes and sweet and yellow. Yeah, it is. It's it's perfectly imperfect. <laughs> well, I was trying. I had thought about even making the M and the A a completely different color just to make them stand out. So, um, but then I we decided to go ahead and make Mahomes all one color. So I could shadow the whole thing. I don't know what I'll do to it, but um, I like it. I think it's fine. But if you are stenciling, double check your letters, obviously, and make sure that they're going the right way. So there's a flub up and um, I'm okay with it. <laughs> what are you gonna do? It'll be all right. Um, but if you are, uh, if you've been on here the whole time, thank you for watching tonight. Oh my goodness. Um, I am a stencil fan of, of Essential Stencils and um, they have definitely helped our business grow in ways that we couldn't have without their stencils. Their stencils wash fine. Um, I will take these tonight and I'll probably take it. Um, I like to use a baby wipe. Sometimes people ask how you clean them. And so I'll just show you how easily um, you can clean them. I use a baby wipe and this just wipes right off. Um, their stencils are very thick, very durable. Um, don't hop off yet because we still have three people to pick um, who are going to win some free stencils of their choice from Essential Stencil. But you can see, I'm just taking a baby wipe to that and it's gonna clean just fine. So um, anyway, that's something that uh, you, Sometimes people ask how you clean them. Um, I clean mine with a baby wipe or a little bit of alcohol um, on a uh, paper towel. Works well too. So um, the cleanup is easy. You can reuse these over and over and over. So if you wanna host some parties, you wanna have some girls nights, um, you wanna do some projects, they're great stencils. And if you get that letter pack, you can spell out your last name, you can spell out your school mascot, you could um, make some signs for silent auctions, for fundraising, um, things like that too. So um, anyway, if you would like to order, you're gonna wanna use um, my link, which is in the comments. It's also at the beginning of, of this video and you can save 10%. So we are going to pick some winners and I'm going to say your name and I'll also try to put it in the comments as well. Um, maybe Essential Stencil can help me with that. And we are going to give away to three winners. You're gonna to get to choose um, the stencil of your choice, including the pre-order fall stencils. So my husband is sitting at the computer and I'm gonna have him scroll through some comments and randomly give me a name. Okay, so I have Wendy Griffin. Are you still on here? I don't know if you are. Wendy Griffin. Did you put it in the comments? Wendy, I need your email and your, um, Where's it at? Your shipping address, if possible, and which stencil you might like to have. So, Wendy Griffin, if you are on here, let's see a comment from you. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Um, let's see. So I've got another name. Joy Maracino. Joy, are you on here? Um, Joy, you're M-A-R-R-A-C-I-N-O. Are you on here? How do you clean the roller? Evelyn, I wash the roller with a little bit of Dawn dish soap and water. I'll usually soak it for a little bit in a cup and kind of let it um, soften up the paint. And then uh, I just rinse it until there's no more paint in it, just like cleaning a brush. Joy Marcino. And I don't know if you're on here, Joy. I'm going to tag you. Yay for Joy. And Wendy Griffin. Wendy, if you're on here. Um, let's see, let's see. One more. Jenny Hudson. Jenny, if you're on here, you are a winner also. So there are our three winners. And I will put their names in the comments. I've got Wendy Griffin, Joy Maracino, and Jenny Hudson. Those two had never stenciled before. Okay. They'd never used stencil. Awesome, awesome. I just got the five inch letters. I can't wait to use them. Yeah, you can make anything you want with them. That's what's so cool about those letters. You know, you can spell out whatever you want. Um, a lot of times in the school year, you guys will have, um, you know, different things coming up for football games, stuff like that. Or, or even, like I said before, like silent auctions, donations, um, things at school that are going on with your kiddos. So um, think about that. Think about spelling out your mascots of your schools around you, um, making some boards for some of those. Um, uh, the antibacterial. I have them right here, and I will show you. Yeah, congratulations. There you are, Jenny. You are on. Awesome. Yes, congratulations. Jenny, if you can message us, um, your name, your email, and um, your shipping address, and then you're going to get to choose whichever stencil set that you want. I am using um, right here the disinfectant or the antibacterial wipes, and they work just as well as they have um, as the baby wipes. So you can see kind of any kind of wipes that have um, I think these have the alcohol in them and uh, they work really well on the stencils. So um, they clean up so well, you guys. They're just, um, they're great quality stencils. Uh, yeah, congratulations to the winners. That's so fun to be able to um, give some away. Um, our other winners, I hope that they're gonna see their names in here. We're gonna tag them. So we've got Wendy Griffin and Joy Maracino. So um, they will all get to pick uh, the stencils of their choice, and um, how fun is that? So everyone can get ten percent. Um, yeah, if you haven't ordered before, and or even if you have, and you want to order something different, maybe you don't have the letters, maybe you don't have the brushes. Uh, you definitely use um, our code in the link, and you will save ten percent off. You can use that anytime. It's not just for tonight. You can use it um, anytime, and you can save ten percent. So. Um, no, Rachel, my, these stencils have never curled. Um, let me just show you. If you don't have any of these stencils, um, they, are, they are really very durable. They're not going to um, fold up on you or, um, you know, I don't have any trouble with anything in the middle ever. Um, they, yeah, our kids have used them. Um, they're, they're just very durable uh, what they make them with. So um, they are they are awesome quality stencils. I am not, I'm gonna be honest, um, I'm not the most careful person. <laughs> um, Jenny, you can actually just message here an essential stencil and say you're a t winner from our live tonight. And you can mess message right on this page and um, your name, email, 
your ad address that they can ship your stencils to and then which ones, um, good night Shelby, um, which ones you would like. So you guys, thank you so much uh, for watching. Thank and you. Thank you for um, making my first Essential Stencil Live fun. I Can you use the 10% with other coupons? Um, that's something that I don't, I'm not sure if you have other coupons for Essential Stencil. You might message them and ask them. I, I can't answer that question. They can probably answer that for you. So um, I am with Miller Trustic Sawmill and they are hosting a live with me on here tonight. So um, I'm in Missouri. Essential Stencil is based out of Arizona. So um, if you have some questions for them, uh, definitely, they are always so good to message back, you guys, if you have a question. So don't hesitate to reach out to them and ask them about your coupons and the code together. So, Great people. you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mimi, good to see you on here. Thanks for watching. Thank you for all the likes and the shares and the hearts. Um, it was fun tonight to, to uh, put up... Uh, something different with the letters and do something fun for our home state team, the Kansas City Chiefs. And um, just remember that you can mix it up. You can mix and match your stencils and um, get creative with them. I have mixed and matched so many different things now to create some new projects. So um, kind of whenever you get out of that box um, of using just this or just that, you've got all kinds of letters and you know, I just even realized tonight that I could have just slid my home, the M down and I could have used the same M and I didn't even think about it. So, um, I thought about it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you've never seen anyone use the roller. The roller, the roller is, um, is pretty handy. I like the roller, especially for my bigger stencil projects. So whenever you're using the roller, um, on those vertical signs, it seems to work really well. So um, the bleeding, uh, the time frame, it's just, um, I think it's less stressful for me. Um, and I, it seems to kind of be less stressful for sometimes for um, some of the girls and ladies in here making those porch board signs. So um, it's something that I just have, um, have learned along the way. I love the brushes. I love the brushes for some of the smaller stencils and the smaller projects um, because I can kind of control the, the coloring of, of my stencils and what I'm using. So um, can we see some of your other work? Leslie, uh, you guys, we are located in Missouri. Someone asked where we're at. We aren't in Arizona. I'm with Miller's Rustic Sawmill and they are guests. They are hosting me tonight to do a live um, on their site. So our Facebook page is Miller's Rustic Sawmill. And we are in Missouri. Yes, thank you. I just got this apron with our logo on it. So um, yes, I was super excited to put that on tonight. Um, our mill is located in King City, Missouri. So this is, an, is another home sweet home. So you guys, um, I don't remember what yellow I used, but I turned my O's into softballs because my husband coaches our daughter's softball team. And um, you can see I put some stitching on there and I actually put some little red polka dots on my letters. So that home sweet home, you guys, you could do so many things with that home sweet home. Um, you could do, uh, you know, home sweet and then your last name. You could do home sweet and then your team, your favorite team you could get creative and make it fun. So that's another one of our home sweet home signs that I've done that has the, um, the softballs on it. So if you are a baseball family, you could totally turn it into um, a baseball and with your colors, you know, you could do the red and white. Um, oh, Teresa Miller's. My last name is Miller um, and we are Miller's Rustic sawmill. I also have a lisp so I can understand if you can't understand me because I, I know I, I talk fast also but um, I will have to take you guys on a uh, on a tour of our of our little shop here sometime and show you kind of what we do but um, yeah get creative with your signs. Um, I've got 
I did um, the summertime. Um, those are fun. So, you know, I, I have that one in the background. And I don't know what's on the back of it, but it's got the sweet summer. And it's a shorter board. And then, oh, back here, this is where I used my letters again. And I used one of the Valentine stencils. So um, this was from Valentine's. And then I used just my um, five inch letters to spell out I love junk. Um, there was an event going through, um, yes, Teresa, Miller's Rustic Sawmill. I will try to tag our page in here too at some point. It's backwards, Donna, because I have an old phone and I can't flip my camera so that it's right side. So my letters all look backwards, but I promise you they're not. I'm sorry. <laughs> But um, yeah, I spelled out the word junk and I used love up here with the arrows. So those are all essential stencils I mixed and matched, which I like to do. So um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for um, coming on for my first live on essential stencils. And I, I hope to see you on here again. Um, if you want to save 10% on ordering any of the stencils, you can use my code anytime. Um, definitely, the code is in the link. And um, the vertical stencils are five inch letters. Yes, they are. They are the bigger letters. Um, so those are some that you can mix and match too. And if you have some of the vertical stencils um, that they have, Keep in mind that you can use those, any of those letters, you can just move around. Um, if you've got welcome, you know, you've got some of the alphabet there. Um, if you've got the believe stencil, the Christmas stencil, don't just think that that's what you have to use them for. Use those letters to spell out anything that you want to spell out or get the alphabet, um, the bigger, the five inch alphabet stencils, and then you can mix and match them as well. So, um, Yes, good night you guys. I know it's getting late. Um it's I don't even know what time it is here in Missouri. 916. Oh, it's 916. So there you go. But um thank you so much and I hope to see you guys on again. I hope you enjoyed the live tonight. I hope you learned something. Don't be afraid to stencil, don't be afraid to try it out. Um just go to go to work. Go go sit down and enjoy it. It's supposed to be fun and um, try out some different things and see what you like best. You might like using brushes better than the rollers. You might love the rollers. Um, just give some things a try and see what happens. Um, and I hope to see you guys on here again. Have a good night.